Vancouver, Seaside, Forest Grove, Beaverton, Portland, Portland East, Troutdale, Hood River, Hermiston, Lake Oswego, Tigard, Newburgh, and McMinnville. I actually did it. <laughs> um, this came out of a meeting with uh, Al Jubitz, who's the founder of the Rotarian Action Group for Peace, and Ted Wheeler, the mayor of Portland, and the new police chief in Portland about two months ago. They said it would be great on Earth Day if we could plant 100 peace poles. We're planning 128. So thank you all for coming. Um, Jim, you want to say a couple words? I'm Jim Walker, the assistant governor for this uh, region, and I work with both the morning and new clubs. And I want to thank both of our clubs for really getting on the ball for peace, for peace building. We're a peace builder district. Our club is buying into it, the morning club is bought into it, and this peace village that they're going to hold this summer is going to get the young kids together to take Rotary's idea of peace, which has been out there for decades. But now we're really centering on peace building, and I think this will make a difference in the future. We will yeah. bring peace to The peace village is going to be third graders to eighth graders, a multicultural event with uh, groups in Africa, uh, Prince uh, Lorenzo de Medici, Chief Grey Wolf, who's the executive director of the Cherokee Nation, um, a bunch of young women from the uh, Peace Institute in Dayton, uh, the Muslim Educational Trust, Reem Gunai, who's with Rotary and is from Palestine, the young woman, uh, the Grand Tri Federated Tribes of Grand Ronde. So it, that's an event you'll hear more about for Starla and uh, we're going to start promoting it next week. Uh, Scott, do you want to say a few words? Uh, just on behalf of the city of McMinnville, we welcome this gesture. We really do. And I don't think there's a better place to have it than in this court, which we envisioned what we were trying to, to create here was a place that would gather between government and its citizens. And so, you know, that, that's the first thought that comes to my mind. Second, and I'm gonna step outside a little bit and say, I'm so thankful for civic groups such as the Rotaries and Juanas that, you know, you silently work <laughs> around this community with very little fanfare, but from a, a city perspective, without your influence and your good work, there's a lot of quality things that happen in this community that wouldn't happen without our civic groups. And so I raise my hand and just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, lastly, is the heritage and the, the legacy that's McMinnville. When I think of peace, and I think of a livable city, and I think of those things which we are so proud of, today's commemoration and our acceptance of the Peace Bowl is exactly what this community is all about. Encompassing people, a safe, livable, great place to live, and it comes from not just who's here today, but those who have lived on. And I think that's very important to realize that we're a part of something much bigger than what's standing here today. So again, thank you, and uh, we welcome all that we're doing today to the city of Mittendale. All Rotarians being proud of this. I think Rotary does so many wonderful things and really is just kind of a step, a new step, but really a long way for expanding peace. So for us, I think McMinnville is our first step. It's kind of like our introduction to peace in McMinnville. And the Rotary Club is really excited about doing this. So the, 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 after, the new club is excited about doing this, and it's just an amazing place to start. So thank you for everybody put it all together. It's an amazing time. And the Peace Village is with the school district, yes. the museum, uh, the Falls right. Event Center, Linfield College, and Peace Valley School. Jeff? Thanks, Larry. So Paul Harris, the Rotary founder, said the road to war is well paved. The road to peace is, a wil is in a wilderness. So Rotary's been pursuing peace for a hundred years through empowerment, education, and engagement. And the city is just thrilled to be able to play a small supporting role, a 
I want to thank our two Rotarian, our two Rotary clubs, and all the Rotarians in McMinnville, past and present, for helping bring peace to the community and peace to the world. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else who would like to say something about peace and winner? So I also want to acknowledge that for every, it is Earth Day, and for every pole that we plant, there are 10 trees that are being planted in Africa. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, I think we should thank Mark Paletto from Sunrise Rotary, who actually planted the peace pole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Howie, you want to say something about peace, peace building? peace in the community. I just like to say that we're all here for a reason. Every person means something and has potential. And this is just another situation where we're, we all get to come together and truly build peace in our community. And that is what this is all about. All of our lives mean something if we're all fighting for the same justice cause. And peace is definitely number one. say something? I wish you could all feel what I feel right now about what's happening. This is, uh, this is a wonderful thing that we're putting forward. I've been working for peace for all my life and it's important to, to send love and caring to those that would harm us, the terrorists and that. You need to think of them in a good place and being good people to change things. You need to change your thought, how you think about those people. Send them love and caring as well. your name sir my name is Harold Jacobs and you are with the I am with Tribes. I just am mm -hmm. I am I am <laughs> I'm keen to represent the native people the native people yes okay, I am part native <laughs> oh okay <laughs> so I was going to tell you